Hi, I want to talk about merging of what some people, some people say timelines. I call them other dimensions because in my belief system, I believe that we have parallel lives running. We have future lives. We have past lives. We have all these lives running simultaneously because we're multi-sensory, multi-dimensional beings, interdimensional beings as well. So I had an experience with that before I left on my trip. And there was a person that also witnessed it as it happened as well. She's highly intuitive and could get some perceptions of what was happening. But I want to give you a couple tools and then kind of how that process happened. So I felt the energy in the room. And once I acknowledged this energy, and once we do that, even when we're talking to loved ones on the other side or our guides, they like, they come in because they know that you're open to communicating with them. So I could feel this energy and all of a sudden she appeared. It was a female energy. And the first thing I saw were her breasts so I can identify that she was a female. And then I saw her dark hair. And then I saw her attributes of the rest of her body. She's really tall. She's not, she's human-like or humanoid, but she's not human like we are in this dimension. She's from another dimension, very galactic, extremely tall, probably eight to 10 feet tall, maybe 12 feet tall, and was carrying some type of device. I don't exactly know what it is, but when she appeared in front of me and then telepathically she starts communicating and asks for permission to come in, so anytime we're taking in an energy, it's always wise to give permission to that. If it doesn't feel good to you, don't give permission. They, they're not allowed in when you do that. So I allowed her in and like, whoosh, I immediately felt her drop in. It was amazing. It was powerful. But what I will say, when we decide to merge with these other dimensional beings that are part of us and part of our essences that are running at the same time, we are healing this lifetime. We're healing that lifetime. We're intermingling our energies with them now to help guide both of us through these multidimensional dimensions and lifetimes and interdimensional from my perception. So we can heal past lives. We heal our past lives. We, we heal our future lives. We heal, we heal our parallel lives. So it's all connected as we know. We just tend to live linear here in this human dense dimension and it's a beautiful thing, but what will happen sometimes is, is that something will arise after that merging. So it can be uncomfortable and it's part of the process of opening up to a higher conscious from my perception. So everyone's going to do it slightly differently. We don't have to judge how other people perceive it, or maybe somebody perceives it a slightly different way and that's okay too. But I know other people that are experiencing this, myself included, there's other people online talking about it. So it's this, it's this way of getting to the, the God self, lack of a better word. And everybody ha again has their own perception. Some people don't believe in God. Some people believe in God. Some people believe it's an energy. Some people believe it's a higher power. Ha some people believe it's source creation, however you want to perceive that. But it's in all of us. It's internal. It's in our DNA, it's in our nervous system, it's in ourselves, it's in everything on this planet and in the universe. So my only tip for that is when you start to feel something that's coming in, just ask if it's there for your highest good. If it doesn't feel good to you, don't go there. Say, no, you're not allowed. That's all you have to do. If it feels good to you, start asking intuitive questions start sitting in that energy and then more information telepathically, visually, clairsentently, how you, how you feel will come to you. It's a beautiful process. Okay. Talk to you next time. See you later.